And welcome to the Islamic Empire. This video will be for the week of May 4th through May 8th, essentially, and for our distance learning. So uh, take a quick peek at what we're going to be showing this week. So let me just back up to Schoology for a moment and show you a basic overview. There we go of our week. So once I go into our course, you'll notice I'll go to historical period number three, the green folder for go. I'm starting to re-identify by date uh, the various weeks. So here's our second folder right in the middle that's green also. And you'll see that I have some instructions, a Quizlet deck, and then three assignments. So just to jump in uh, real fast with uh, what all this is, um, let's take a look at notability. So um, here we are. We're going to be taking a look at the Islamic Empire. This is going to pick up uh, around the 600s in through about the 1500s. And one of the big questions that will come about is uh, basically people converting to Islam, how it got started, when, when it got started, by who it got started from, and so forth. So uh, very quickly, here's a timeline um, of, of what's going to happen. And again, the big question there in the bubble is what attracts people to one religion or another. So we're going to have a lot of people who are going to convert to Islam. And um, uh, they'll call themselves Muslims, and they'll speak the language Arabic. And um, as we look at uh, some basic ideas here, I'll get my pointer. You know, um, we have Rome from 509 to 476, and of course that's when um, Catholicism got started. Around 525 through 1054, we're going to just look at about a 500-year period of the Byzantine Empire, which is when uh, Greek Orthodox Christianity will come into play officially in 1054. Let me just scroll up a little bit. And um, we'll also see Islam begin in 622. So there's going to be all these religions kind of overlapping through this time period. Eventually, by 1095, we're going to see the Crusades begin um, in Europe and the Middle East area in, um, around Jerusalem and the Holy Land. So that's uh, where, where things are going to be headed. And we're actually going to pick up with the Crusades more when we talk about the Middle Ages. But for the time being, as we're sort of getting everyone caught up, let me just show you this map real fast. As, um, of course, we look at, um, you know, Rome over here. Eventually, with the fall of Rome, the Middle Ages will begin. Feudalism, chaos, decentralized government. Over in the east, we have, you know, lots of trade networks from... I'll just kind of quickly just draw in some Silk Road kind of things are going like this, which is going to be great for Constantinople. But meanwhile, down to the south, we have um, in Mecca, Muhammad is going to be to begin to get um, a message from God, and he will write all those things down in the Quran, their holy book. And before long, we're going to see the shades of purple, how Islam is going to grow into various um areas and we'll see it continue to go beyond to all these different places so here's where we're going to be uh, taking a look at uh, throughout the week there's three assignments the first one marking period four homework seven which is the islam reading assignment is really pretty straightforward it is just a note sheet this is something that pretty much has right or wrong answers uh, reading through a fairly basic sheet that's located in Schoology, you should be able to use this as um, background information to ultimately answer the questions here on this page, which is um, fairly straightforward uh, note sheet style um, assignment. Uh, you can work on that with a partner if you wish, not a problem. The second activity, let me just scroll back, is going to be the Islam packet. And uh, the fourth, the third item is a writing assignment. So let me just kind of bracket this out just so you understand that there are questions in the packet that are also the same as the writing assignment. So I'm going to use uh, the Think Tech stuff to, uh, to help go through that a little bit, but you'll notice I'm just going to break it apart into two assignments. The first one is a typical homework. The second one will be worth a writing project grade. So that'll be the equivalent of like a test or quiz. So you'll want to do a nice job on that. I'm just going to scroll down to, um, to show you the packet where uh, you'll see I've uh, altered the instructions a little bit, putting some um, you know, different things at the top. So like, here's a good example. So when you get to this activity about just identifying major beliefs and practices about the religion, it's, you know, what do you already know? This is also going to be a think it activity. Uh, during Thursday's Google Meet session, um, I'll have a chance to show you what some people put in for a response for a word cloud. You can copy and paste it 
into here when we're done. So this will act um, also as your note sheet uh, for the um, for the unit. When you get to this question here, you're going to see that there is actually a video that is provided. It's about three minutes long. The Oprah Winfrey Network put it out. It's pretty good um, uh, basic foundation for the religion itself. And um, you can copy and paste some of your think tech question right here, which is totally fine. As we scroll through, you'll see there's some questions now that go along with this text. And you'll see I highlighted them in yellow. So hopefully that's something for you to be able to work your way through. Uh, big focus is going to be the five pillars of faith. Not too much different from the Ten Commandments um, or the Four Noble Truths in other religions. And finally, we'll get down to really what the, the last couple of questions are. Um, in Think Tech, you can answer your check it here, which is going to be basically you just um, talking about your understanding about Islam as a faith, um, which really is this question here. So you can copy and paste your text. I, I certainly want you to be able to not have to do the same thing twice, but this is going to act as your note sheet, whereas Think Tech is where I'm going to you know, pick up some grading and stuff. So you can copy and paste that in. The last activity um, in this thing here is a sorted activity, which is going to review some different um, terms and, and items from the religion and, and, and with the categories that they go into. And you'll see that it goes about uh, the origins of the, the faith. And let me just point it out. The origins, the five pillars, empire building and achievement. So in the next couple of days, hopefully um, I've uh, bounced out this uh, due date through Tuesday, um, no, Monday, May 11th. So you'll have uh, the weekend to also finish it up. And uh, that's all I got. If you have any questions, you can email me or hopefully I'll see you at our Thursday Google Meet session starting at 2 o'clock to 2.30 as I do need to take attendance to make sure that everyone is, um, you know, keeping up with our course and so forth. So if you have any questions, email me. Not a problem. We'll talk to you soon.